Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're watching Fallout, which I know you were just over the moon about. Over the you moon. played some of the games, right? Yeah, I played ones? about three of them. I played Fallout 3, Fallout 4, 76, and New Vegas. So there you go. I've never <laughs> played any of them, but if you guys are new, and if you guys are not, you guys know that she's the gamer, I'm not. So I know the basic amount about Fallout, just everything that you've told me, but yeah. I don't know what this show is going to be so about. So excited to show him. I cannot wait. Games aren't really his thing, but I think this adaptation is going to do a good job, and it's going to get him into it, and we're going to end up playing it together. Anyway. If you're this excited to watch it then i'm obviously excited to watch it so <laughs> yeah um guys we're gonna check out this whole series i know it's only one season out right now maybe yeah inviting you guys for sure to come watch them with us uh, like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss an upload and we're gonna watch fallout so let's go let's go do you know bethesda yes i do they made starfield wonderful you came by Yeehaw, cowboy. <laughs> Aww. That's the suit color. Had no comment about the president's whereabouts. Specter of nuclear war facing this nation. It's a party. Let's just focus on the party, okay? Boy, they're right in the city, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Why the hell is Cooper Howard working kids' birthday parties? Alimony. <laughs> they done got him like Where Tiger Woods, huh? <laughs> And I'm lucky to have such a good helper like you. Oh, this is daughter. Honey, get with Cooper. Let's get a picture. Uh, you bet. Yeah. Coop, Coop, do your thumbs up. Yeah, you know, given the state of everything, I prefer not to if that's all right. That's what you're famous for. Traffic yeah. bombs? I can't thank you enough, Mr. Howard. Pleasure is all mine. So he's like a celebrity or something working birthday parties. Right, like a Western guy. Because he has some like tricks. Still took my money. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. only thinking happy thoughts I'm not today. I miss the old days maybe when kids watch the news. Right. There's lots of Easter eggs, guys. I'm not going to point all of them out, but I will at the end. I'll point out the ones that are most memorable. But they're sons. I will say that. Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. That's grown up stuff. Well, back when I was in the Marines, they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, they told us to hold up your thumb just like this. And if the cloud is smaller than your thumb, now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your thumb? Well, they told us not to bother running. Wow. That's I thought crazy. it just meant like this. Happen? Like, I thought it meant like... I certainly hope not. Join the, the vaults. What are they watching? He-Man or something? <gasps> oh my gosh. Is it your thumb yeah. or mine? This just got so intense. <laughs> Bro, I can barely breathe right now. <laughs> what in the world? That's smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. <gasps> oh, wow. What do you do? It's coming. Oh, my. Look Dude, at Did you see all that? Yeah. Just imagine that birthday party, dude. The fallout shelter. Wow, it was such a lovely day. That's kind of the coolest thing that he takes off in a horse. There's the second one, the third. Oh my gosh. What a start. <laughs> Great. My name is Lucy McLean. I enjoy participating in the Young Pipers Association. Science skills, mine are nothing compared to my dad's. My primary passion is teaching American history with a focus on ethics. I also participate in gymnastics club. <laughs> <laughs> what a positive lady. <laughs> and I dabble in riflery. Caught my man in an arm bar. <laughs> I enjoy taking walks and watching movies with my dad. Oh, that's taking Starting walks. Also with my dad. My reproductive organs are intact. I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. At least one I'm not related to. That I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. She's trying to find a husband? <laughs> right? She's, on, she's talking to the matchmakers? <laughs> that's some type of council. Aww. <laughs> That's in a vault. That's crazy. There's got to be like some augmented reality going on or something, right? Inside the like the wallpaper or something. 
I don't know. Inside the vaults. Oh, they share the wedding dress. 2281. Feels a little tight. Won't be for long. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. <laughs> After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. Ooh. I'm I guess it's Slim Pickens in there, though, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, she said they're all related to her. <laughs> That is so adorable in there. Yeah, magic 3D. <laughs> projector. That's a hell of a projector, though. My little sugar mom. Oh. A sugar mom. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like your mother. I wish she was here. Me too. Were you scared when you married mom? Me? Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd never step foot outside Vault 31. When did it go away? The moment I met your mother, from that moment on, Vault 31 was a distant memory to me. Oh, so he got to get married to someone, too. Seemed like he loved her, though. Mm hmm Your husband could be anybody. I'm aware. And in that respect, you could be a cannibal or just like Clint. But you, Norman. <laughs> See, such a brother. <laughs> That's so crazy. There's another vault right there. Oh, wow. I would be scared to be, like, contaminated. The inside of this... Yeah, for real. It's stressful in there. Like, it feels damp and cold. Right. So it's not something they can just do whenever, obviously. Uh, probably best if we reschedule with the 32s. What's going on? Lucy, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to postpone it. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but... Not marriage, bro. It's a sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. <laughs> this is some Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Some Lannister action. <laughs> he had to agree on that one. <laughs> He's more curious than she is. <laughs> well, I would want to know what's on the other side. I want to see what their vault looks like. Yeah. I am Hank McLean, overseer of Vault 33. Lee Moldaver, overseer of 32. When blight hit our wheat, we lost a lot of good people. But this trade will help us get back on our feet. As arranged, we offer you seed and parts. In exchange, we offer you a breeder. Wow. So, <laughs> like cow or something. Yeah. Who am I marrying? <laughs> so they trade a person for food. For like food and wow. Yeah. <laughs> Just so they can carry on the family line, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Do you have a name? Monty. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's her man right there. <laughs> he looks like that guy off Supernatural. Does he? Dang, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> <You knew. laughs> Play my boy up. <laughs> so what's your sperm count? Sperm is pretty important in perpetuating America. <laughs> so. Vault 32 is looking a little rough. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like a little crime they activity. They beat up down there. <laughs> They're down there taking people's meat. <laughs> but by a shared duty to keep the candle of civilization lit. Radiation levels on the surface are dropping fast enough that the next generation will be able to recolonize. <laughs> oh, like on Earth mm -hmm. or above ground, I guess. Because the radiation levels will be low enough. Well, after 200 years, we don't know much about what's up there. These survivors will need to be shown a better way to Lucy McLean and to this marriage and to hope. Who can tell you? Wow. That change in lighting was crazy. What? <laughs> That's crazy to just think that you're going to reclaim like civilization. <laughs> like it's up to y'all. That's a, like that's nuts. They're eating good though. Yeah. Show me to my new home. It kind of looks like Theon. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> It's like if Theon and the guy from Supernatural had like a child. <laughs> Which would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is the being name? Sam. <laughs> Every big moment of our lives is going to happen right here. He's ready to go. Okie dokie. Do you see all that stuff on his back? All the scars and stuff? Yeah. Well, you said it yourself. It's tough where they're at. Her brother who looks like a young gentleman. <laughs> like he's he's a little brother, but like 30. <laughs> 33. <laughs> <laughs> 
No wonder they're looking crazy. They ain't got nothing to eat. Tough times and famine in there. Look at that. Ugh. Well, they can work on that. <laughs> uh -oh. oh my gosh. That's like a torture person, right? Does that mean we got a serial killer? Oh no. He was just shocked to see running water. That's the radiation noise. You're from the surface. Yeah, he's like a level eight. That must be bad. So that was just all set up. Just so you know, this was the best day of my life. He said, this was the best day of my life. I know he was country. Like, is that the only thing he said? Who got stabbed? I know someone, right? You heard it? <gasps> oh, that wasn't who I was expecting. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, don't pull it out. Mm. Oh, dang, she was a terrible wife. She got married and killed her husband the same damn day. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get revived in the game. That's why I really like this. I love that. Oh, it was she's wild, back. seriously, is how many people won't know that I was kidding. What? Like when I said that, thought she was a terrible wife. Oh, like so many people will take me serious. It's crazy. <laughs> No reason to. No, that's her people. So she's good to go now because she had that revival thing. Really? That's cool to an extent, you know, they can't constantly do that for this adaptation, but once in a while it's kind of cool. So she had a dart gun. What type of chemicals in the dart gun in the game? Or is that not in there? It is in there, but I don't, honestly, I don't know. I think I thought it was stuff with the radiation in it. Yeah, it probably is. That's what I was thinking. Dang, he said quick snack. When you find you so they're taking over, basically. They needed all that stuff, I guess. That's kind of stressful. They all need to coexist Get down there. Get that jelly mold out of here. Get that jelly mold out of here. Oh, dude. <gasps> Bro, there's nowhere for you to go. Oh, she was up to it. So they really are raiders. You may see <laughs> a you know. One of their projectors just got messed up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> She went out tough, though, didn't she? Yeah. Sir, please don't make me use force. <gasps> oh, my. This is wild. Oh, drug him by his feet like a toddler. <gasps> nice. Good shot. She oh no. Not her husband. Pops. Pops popped your head with a shovel. That guy's relentless, I'm telling you. A barrel of pickles. So they were bobbing for pickles. Oh no. <gasps> Explosives. Did they make that in a shop back? That's what it looked like. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. I don't. Me either. So I'm going to offer you a choice. Them or her. <gasps> no. He's going to pick her. That's his daughter. It'll be hard. Hey, come stop. Come on, stop. So they're blowing you it? You are my world. <laughs> look like your mother what a peculiar thing to say i know where are you taking it to the real world you should see it sometime like up top maybe run and hide oh my gosh 
So that didn't even matter, run and hide. I mean, I'm assuming that collapsed it and sealed him in, right? But they're always asking me They're jumping him. He must be new or something. Right. Like a little hazing. Maximus. Maximus. Like on Gladiator. Maximus. How's your nose? And you like the Dominus. <laughs> I can still smell. She's mostly blood. Go on. Yeah. Uh -huh. But if they oh. hurt my heart. No one are like 10. It is the duty of the Brotherhood of Steel to secure the wasteland. Brotherhood of Steel. That's who they are. Aspirin Maximus. Can you identify this relic? Bruder. <laughs> the ability to defend yourself is but one part of your training. We are the finders and the preservers. Unless you know what to find and preserve, you are more useful as a corpse. So they're not like geologists, but like a militant version. Yeah, and they have to like bust people for like any notions, I guess, of nuclear war, like pre-war tech. The watchers are chilling, aren't they? Yeah, look at that shit. Whoa, what are these? Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. I think that's some of that pre-war tech. I don't know, is that pre-war or post-war tech? <laughs> is that their beef arm? Come on, I got something I want to show you. Well, the train duty is a two-person job. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I get it. So he's got the bad job. I don't know what the hell I thought. There was no vegetation. I thought they were keeping some bees or something. <laughs> that's all they had? They are living like Winnie the Pooh out there? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. This was my idea. He didn't want it. Come at me. He was having a little flashback with it. Did you see that? Mm hmm As a kid in the bomb. Like that thing saved him or something? He might have. Oh, look at that basketball goal. Over again. They're throwing out <laughs> bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. This looks like holes. Yeah. Us were chosen to get anointed. Oh yeah. <laughs> My boy's left out. So Dane got like chosen, I guess. I guess he's still a recruit, Maximus. Yeah, so it seems like he got left out. He's still shoveling old crap over there. <laughs> Maximus the poopa scoopa. The poop sabotager. <laughs> he's had enough. Ooh, what happened? Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. <gasps> a razor, oh, a razor blade? blade. Hmm. Ah! That person got sabotaged though, because that. You think he got sabotaged? Had to. If we would put a. Ra you don't put a razor blade in your own shoe like that. Oh, no, no, no. They, they took the dude. Oh, Maximus? Yeah, Maximus. <gasps> I thought you were saying he got sabotaged because he got mad, but do you think he did it? I don't know. There's always a twist, you know? Yeah, I don't know him like that quite yet. <laughs> There's a what a G. That would suck to pee in, just being honest. I have a proposal for the assembly. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. Opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute. We're brainstorming here, and there's no bad ideas in a brainstorm, <laughs> but that's not something that we ever do. We're all hurting right now, but our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. That means not opening any of our doors. They don't want to find that. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's how it is. Little bro, the realist over here. You know I love those lights. The propaganda piece. I thought it always was like, you can do it, but it's like, if you see the, you know, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. always thought that's what it meant, not the nuclear bomb test. Almost like, keep going, it's all yeah. okay. <laughs> Don't lose, there you go. Your head. <laughs> How's your day going? Bad as everyone else's. The bottle caps for those is supposed to be currency. I wonder if it is.
that's intense. So they probably get never out. do this. So, yeah, yeah, it's probably like this is the first time. Oh man. At some point there's gonna be a showdown right here. Take care of Norm to my back. Okay. I can't. I'm going with you. Thanks, cuz. <laughs> I'm not letting anyone else get hurt on my behalf. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. He would like that show, I Love Lucy. Yeah. He'd relate to that hard. I just tracked him. <laughs> Not all the same to you if you try to follow me. I'm too chicken. <laughs> Thanks. I think I would be too if I was him because like radiation, I would be so scared of that. I'd be ready to get the hell out of there. I would I, be, be too. I would be too, I think. But I also would be so scared of radiation because they're probably taught that their whole lives. <laughs> Maybe I say that because I didn't grow up in a vault. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like Desmond on Lost though. But he wouldn't leave the bunker. Yeah. He thought it was poisonous outside the air. Mm hmm. <laughs> Young lady, come back here right away. I couldn't imagine what she's thinking right now, though. Yeah, they think she has lost her mind. And she's about to see, like, who knows what. Can't turn back now. That doesn't look good. Bones at the gate. <laughs> Those people probably trying to be like, can we get in? Like during it. Oh my yeah, they gosh. They thirsted out there or starved or something. They're just dying. <gasps> oh boy, yeah. That's like, what is it? Mount Vesuvius on Pompeii? Yeah. That's what it looked like. Oh, she's about to see the ocean, ain't she? Whoa. Yeah, the ocean blows my mind, bro. Look at that Ferris wheel. What's that, like Santa Monica or something? Yeah, that looks like that pier on GTA. Or Tony Hawk, American Wasteland. <laughs> That's more of my speed. Okay, okay. <laughs> we have given you a name, food, education. We expect you to give us the truth. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me. <gasps> who hurt you? He was in a fridge? I understand you're a friend of Aspirin Dane. I don't think a yes. fridge would work though for real. You're aware of their injury? Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Your fellow Aspirin say it was you. I, 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 I wouldn't. Man, you better get stern about your innocence. If you were. I'd be like, hell no. <laughs> I didn't do it. I did not. I, 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 I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? I don't know if I would have said that. Yes. <laughs> He's like, of course it is. <laughs> violence is merely a tool. We use it to bring order to the wasteland, but violence against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. Are you weak? I don't want to be. I don't. He looks like the High Sparrow, don't he? Yeah, with the, like the chain, the maesters, and the, with the chains and stuff. I agree. You have anything else to say? Oh no. I, I want to thank you. Where are we going? Where are we going with this? For your guidance and for giving me a home. If I can help the Brotherhood make it better, even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. Yeah, but did nah, you, you do it? You could have just said you didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, but did you do it, though? Good boy. And you will be Knight Titus, new squire. So did he just get promoted? Yeah. I don't really know what's up with him. Yeah, me either. Like, did you? He's are you good? Are you bad? Yeah. Or? It's not so bad. They said I'll still have a place at the Brotherhood. I heard you got my spot. You know who did it? Well, I've narrowed it down to any one of those assholes. <laughs> Why are they giving my man a wedgie? Like, they asked if it was elbow him in his face. <laughs> He's like, stop, stop. I told him you wouldn't hurt a fly. Did he do it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is your most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood, to protect the mission, to protect your Lord, Knight Titus. Oh, Knight Titus. Is he about to brand him by grabbing him? I think so. He's the squire to that thing. It is believed that the denizen of the Enclave has escaped. The Enclave's real. And that he has with him an object a profound potential to harm our nation or to save it. Go forth with honor and may the shape of the future be cut by your sword. 
Benjamin Linus? I know, right? That's what I look like. <gasps> dog meat? Who's that? You know that dog? Oh, that's in the game? Well, I just know there is a dog that's like a, a German Shepherd named Dog Me, and I'm assuming that's who that is. <laughs> that's a big old bag. Do you see his eye popping out? <laughs> yeah. So they're just going to get their target, I guess. And I'm not supposed to know who the target is yet, right? Well, we just know it's Benjamin Lydus. <laughs> that's all we know. Right, but I don't know him yet. Nope, me either. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> what? Shot him with a baby leg. Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a year. Cuts some pieces off and puts him right back in the ground. Ew. <laughs> what in the hell? You're telling me the supreme badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant? Have some respect. Pop worked with him once. What? <laughs> Feral ghoul can't abide a chicken. If he goes for him, we kill him. A ghoul? Yeah. I don't want to say too much, you know? I know. Oh, what you know what's going on? Yeah, I know what a ghoul is. Guys, just in case you missed it, in case you fast forward the intro, I'm completely new to Fallout. I don't know nothing about it. And I'm seeing Fallout like things but it's not the story because there's many stories in fallout you know what mm. i'm saying there's different games oh my god <laughs> who's this about to be oh snap whoa it's deadpool he looks like red school and freddy krueger so he's a ghoul but not like a fair one obviously because he's not like attacking them well, well, well. <laughs> Just the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. Welcome back. I'm Huncho. Oh, he sees that oh. chicken. <laughs> Does that count? Now he's gonna be nice to it. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> we got a proposition for you. Oh. Bounty came down. Last score for me and whoever's with me. Somebody made a run from the Enclave. Is where they's running to. Dead witch. Molding in that California. lady. <laughs> That's where you from, ain't it? And what the fuck would you know about where I'm from? I didn't know that cowboys in California. Right. How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years? <laughs> I knew this was about to happen. Mm. He's I'd a western him in the ground. What they digging him up for? <laughs> a dang outlaw. This right here was your last job. <laughs> Snatch him in the ground. Boy. Oh, man. He would have been a funny sidekick, though. So this has got some Clint Eastwood vibes going on. Huh? <laughs> got the damn chicken on. He said, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so crazy starts to fall out. Basically, there's a lot of vaults, and then are they Ravengers or Scavengers? I thought they were called Raiders. Or Raiders, yeah, there you go. So Raiders came and shook everything up, committed a lot of murders, and the main girl, Lucy, she went all the way up to the world, and so far, she's not dead. She's not just pilling over, obviously, with radiation. Doesn't work that way anyways, but... I think it was 200 <laughs> years later, and also, the suit has radiation protection. The blue suit. Oh, some pup pups. Some rain. <gasps> oh, no. No. They have to weigh a certain amount. But when I think of you. Not Ben up to something sneaky. Yeah, he would be being absolutely evil, wouldn't he? He played in Evil too, a show. I dabbled in that show Evil for a second, but I, I kind of stopped watching it after like the second season. Was he still like a villain type yeah, he's guy? He's a villain in it, yeah. He so that's just his vibe. So he's going to be a villain here too, obviously. Oh, yeah. Always. So they're obviously trying to make like the perfect dog, right? Like they're training, perfect. they're training them up and. Not even letting them survive if they're not a certain weight. Mm -hmm. 
Sit. You shot his best with that dog. Aww. Much of that stuff is. Is that a good place for you? Hmm. It seems like he's protecting her, keeping her something secret. Either completely for science or because he loves her, but. Or he. I don't know so. if it's he or her dog. Oh, he's a good girl. That's why I think it's a she. But when I think. <laughs> Are you scared to gender the dog? <laughs> well, no. I was like, why did I just call it a girl? But it's because he's a good girl. <laughs> What are you doing? What? That dog was like, what the hell? Like, why would you do that? <laughs> oh, this song's gonna go on dumb. <laughs> Overpowered him. Oh no. Protected him. Well, that's stressful. Oh, is that why they want him? Because this is like what he did, I guess. Please remain calm. <laughs> That machine's no. not very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> How did it miss? It nailed Fallout and nailed it. I must have been behind the sticks shooting. Let me ride through the wide open country of the cottonwood trees. Yeah, the shoreline receded, and I have no idea why, but maybe like the earth got knocked off his axis because of so many nuclear bombs going off that the tides are different. I have no idea. Let us know in the comments, guys. Just let us know all those awesome facts. Right, and 200 years have passed, so like that too. Yeah, I mean, who knows? <laughs> Real life tumbleweed means a duel, normally. To the ridge where the west the evening breeze and listen to the oh they were just eating dinner mm. yeah the reality in nuclear <clears throat> war is terrifying man <gasps> they poison themselves or something they put it in the food the mom did that's horrifying that's so sad. They were gonna starve. Or just like die or like get vaporized, right? Well, no, nah, I think they survived, but mm -hmm. they didn't survive the fallout. Yeah. Because the blast doesn't kill everyone, it's the fallout. There's like a whole aftermath, yeah. Right. I'd be kind of scared to build a fire, bro. I know, there's like no one around. They'll easily see that. That's always rule number one, right? Well, she's been in the vault. So what is she supposed to know about that, I guess? Yeah, she didn't watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> It's gonna be that freaky dude with his glasses. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the look, the look noise. Before the war, not even a hello. Joked about cockroaches surviving a nuclear blast, but they didn't merely survive; they improved. <gasps> Fallout Four reference. Large thorax. Extended antennae in order to hunt in packs. Incisors to help ingest larger prey. You should know better than to light a fire after dark. You could have just said that, bro. <laughs> Sir, I'm looking for my father. He was uh, kidnapped by this woman named Moldaver. Have you seen her? You need to go home, miss. You come from a world of rules, of laws. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. That'd be so creepy. Bro. I know. Because the implication yeah, is that he would. Down. Yeah. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. Train her up. The question is, will you still want the same things when you have become a different animal altogether? That would be so peculiar. <laughs> Who are you? Name's Jared. <laughs> Just walks off. <on. laughs> that was crazy, bro. She got a little bit of wisdom or a threat. See the duck. <laughs> I like your Jeep, bro. I like your helicopter, bro. My Lord Titus! 
I see you went with the tempered lining that helped with mobility. <laughs> Rude. Don't you like in charge of stuff? <laughs> Set us down. We're still miles from. I set that thing down and leave him. He's got the roid rage one, don't he? He's making people clean his freaking jock strap. <laughs> his jock plate. <laughs> oh God. Are you gonna fly on him like that? Nope. <laughs> See, look, it's starting to look a little green over here. There's a lot of vegetation here. Don't go there. He's got some spam. Oh, he's got cramp. some cramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they can't use spam. <laughs> well, that's also an Easter egg. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because they can't use spam. True. In the game. <laughs> <gasps> what? <laughs> that looks fairly new. He couldn't sneak up on anybody, I don't think. Oh, so he must have just missed him. Mm hmm Dang. The tram cam was still on the ground. <laughs> they were here? A man? And a dog? The man actually ate that, not the dog. Nah, let that knight go in there by himself. Does he come equipped with a flashlight on his head? Yeah, it looks like it. Or a magnifying right glass. on his shoulder. Something. Oh, he's got it. Go see if the target's in there. Uh, my, my lord, I, I don't have armor. You are in the suit through acts of bravery. This is an act of bravery. Who is that dude? He's the knight. <laughs> well, I mean, I know that, but... He's just a mean one. Why does he have to be under him? That one's rogue. I know, he's a D-bag. Maybe they're all like that. See anything? No problem at all. Oh, That's a radioactive grizzly or something. <laughs> There's your act of bravery right there. What, letting him get jacked by a bear? No, he's just throwing hands with a radioactive bear. That's tough. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 he runs so slow. He went out a little too quick. Man, you better go. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a dude in there. Hell no, I ain't shooting that thing. I'm running. Shoot it! Oh, never mind. I didn't know that gun's power. I thought I was going to bounce off. <laughs> oh, we need help all of a sudden. Fuck! Where were you? There's always something. Is that the dude who's always on ESPN? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's him because he always cusses a lot. With their bullshit. Ian Rappaport. No, that ain't his damn name. Is it? I don't know. Get me a step back. What the fuck are you doing, man? You're looking at me like you don't know what the fuck to do. He's also in Prison Break. You just don't know that yet. Ah. You stupid motherfucker. You know this is all your fault. Don't help him then. You know what they do to squires? That don't do their fucking job. They string you up by your uh, lungs and they, uh, they hang you and let the vultures come get you. Then why would he save you? This is all your fault. Yeah, all your dreams are shattering because you're realizing the reality of it. It's a Bible game. It's a knight's duty to better this fallen world. You don't deserve that armor. Dang. They'll kill you for this. Not if I bring back the target. I think it's pretty cold, bro. That's what, to be honest, I don't blame him, man. You ain't about to sit there and talk to me like that. Like, just antagonize. You have your final moments, and that's what you're doing. Because he didn't kill him. The bear did. Yeah. But he don't have to save him. Excuse me. Hi. <laughs> May I approach? I ain't got weapons. It's okay. I just want to ask you for directions. She's so nice and friendly. <laughs> but he is, too. That'd be a crappy life, bro. I'm, I'm a little lost. What's that you're working on? It's meant to be a water filter. No matter how much sand I put in it, I just get more sand. Well, have you tried water? You think you're supposed to filter the water out of the sand? 
You got water? <laughs> oh, uh, would you like a sip? Oh, she's just naive to the fact that there ain't no water out there. Uh, sorry. Uh, sir, I actually, I might, I need that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Somebody hands you a bottle of clean water and you drink it. <laughs> Even if you're not thirsty, you drink it. Good advice. You head to Philly? Oh, what's Philly? Town. Are they talking about Philadelphia? It's with an F, though. I don't know. Been they don't have advanced hill. phonics like PHs, it's though. <laughs> People get killed in Philly all the time. That's where my daddy got killed anyway. Had a hand as well. She got killed there once. Once. <laughs> Live with me. Use the family and help with all the work. I'm okay, but uh, thank you so much for the advice. This could all be yours. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Bye. Huh. Man, he offered that girl his entire kingdom and she was like, I'm good. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> She's like, I lived underground the whole time, but you know, cool. A little weird how you got that suit, but that's okay. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do, I guess. <laughs> what is this music? I bet that'd be fun. <laughs> that's you. What? The shadow boxing. <laughs> Just in my mechanical suits. Yeah. When I'm in the backyard. Uh -huh. He's acting kind of the same as the other guy. <laughs> no, stop it again! I'm gonna fucking kill you. Why are y'all fighting? This is the end of your fucking day. I said I'd hand him. What are those two dudes fighting about? Philosophy? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who's the best poet? Thank you, Mr. Metal Man. Much obliged to you. Have a really bad day, sir. Toodles. <laughs> and like in our time, those sayings are just so like overused and whack. <laughs> and these days, there's like a time for it again. Don't murder me. They seem like they got into a little something something. Just, <laughs> the guy was fucking my chickens. Oh. <laughs> and you let him go? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. On your way, citizen. Oh, you better go run down that that chicken tapper. <laughs> It's like Philly, this way. You're smiley over that? That'd be a crazy discovery. I'll be scared. <laughs> what? Hello there. My name is... Where's she going? The flea market? <laughs> it looks like it. Oh, basket? Dog meat. <laughs> Have you seen this man? Dog meat. That's a diner. Downtown. It's at downtown. But do you see those uh, NASA parts? Mm -hmm. Just casually up there. Yeah. I thought this whole show was gonna be about vaults. <laughs> this is crazy. So Philly just seems like a working town, right? Kinda. <laughs> Trading. Oh, sorry. Thor doing there? <laughs> oh, because he he used to like Thor, or like he he read about Thor, so he just role playing. <laughs> he found the hammer. Did you see the two headed cow? Iconic. He's like oh, someone I can relate to. <laughs> I noticed that you have an assortment of vault tech equipment. It would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. Don't start a ruse up in here. <laughs> You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Barb, get in here, you... <laughs> It was like Benjamin Franklin, don't he? I know. <laughs> Everyone knows who Moldaver is. Get out of here, vault dweller. Ma'am, this Moldaver broke into my vault, took my dad, and, and killed... And I'm telling you, you're gonna go through a whole lot worse if you stay around here. Clean hair, nice teeth, all ten fingers. <laughs> I know that it can't have been easy for you up here, what with all the murder and, and the dirt. <laughs> but the mission no of the vaults right. should be important to everyone. The vaults were nothing more than a holding ground for rich folks to hide in while the rest of the world burned. Uh, and are grateful for the privileged position we were born into. And you know what folks <laughs> up here? She was trained. <laughs> 
say about the vaults? What? Fuck the vaults. That's literally exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. But that's not Lucy's fault, man. She was just born into it. <laughs> Like, that is a no. Right. He's creepy. He pops up everywhere. Really think you should go home. You are not safe here. You come from Vault 33. Your primary crop is corn. You have a telesonic projector in your farm. You've been brought up in a meritocracy where people pride themselves on doing the right thing. Dang. So she's like really in the Wild West. You will, Zig. Let's get you inside. Will Zig? Will Zig. Uh oh. Sound like him saying it. Will Zig. <laughs> Come here, Will Zig. Oh, she's going to be like, what is this? <laughs> They're going to become best friends, I'm guessing. Or you wouldn't happen to be a doctor, would you? You know your kind ain't welcome here. Uh, last night, a bounty came in through all six agencies. A hefty price on the head of a man that fits the description of that fellow right there. <laughs> but I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Philly. <laughs> Damn, they blew his foot off. <laughs> Change plans, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> Change plans. So they call their money caps? Yeah, because it's the bottle caps. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's just an old fashioned shootout right here. Yeah. And this guy's too good with it. Yeah, because he was a real cowboy even before the bomb. Not in the maters. Dang, Why is he, he just chilling? <laughs> he's chilling. He's like, well, I'd offer you one of these cherry tomatoes, but you got a hole in your neck. <laughs> so he's immortal. Yeah, it seems like it. What a shot! So stay away from this dude. Don't try to shoot him. Mm -mm. You're silly. You're silly. Ow. Give that dude a shot. Ow. Don't hurt it. Don't hurt it. Uh oh. That was the dog too. He sacrificed everything for that dog. She was looking at it like, do I do the right thing? Like that. That things are moral conscience. Yeah, because they She's pride themselves. Yeah. They pride themselves on good deeds. Somebody has to, I guess. <gasps> Don't. I'm going to have to ask you to leave him alone. At first glance, your treatment of this man appears unfair, <laughs> and I'm obliged to intervene. <laughs> I think everyone in this town would agree the force is justified. No shot. This works. <laughs> well, now that is a very small drop. In a very, very large bucket of drugs. <laughs> he said, I'm immune. Uh oh. Let's go. But this is, has to be his first real fight. Oh, God. Right. He might be like Spider Man in that movie and not know how to use the suit. Knight Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down or be cut down. <laughs> okay. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> He's fast. Hi. Listen, that man is important. Get him inside and keep him there until I've dealt with a ghoul. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the target for him that he's gonna bring back so yeah. he doesn't get in trouble. That's what I'm saying. It all just sort of came to a head right here. Right. <laughs> that poor dude. <laughs> If this is a Marvel movie, he would have got away because <laughs> yeah, all this would have went on. <laughs> he just slipped off the back door. He would have crawled if he had to. I'm gonna need a new foot, Barb. Trying to eat my beans, but okay. <laughs> uh, 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 I can still make this trip. We got a whole crate under the box with the defibrillator. Under the box of the defibrillators. <laughs> oh. Uh. If you think this little thing can haul your limping ass across the wasteland, you may not be as smart as people say you are. Do you have anyone else you can trust in this town? Oh my god. I need you to take this man here to my client. My client goes by the name of Lee Moldaver. 
Uh, uh, oh, that's who she needs. Yeah. You ain't getting near Moldaver without something to bargain with, and delivering this guy right here is your best option. You better take Gosh, him. Gosh damn it, okay. She and her kind hole up across the <laughs> What? That thing was just uh, twisting his, oh, his leg. <laughs> just, just get to the coordinates. You're gonna need to move fast if you wanna keep your skins. This could may maybe work. <laughs> They're still going at it. <laughs> Man, he got his foot stuck. Uh -oh. Rule number one read the manual. Oh. Man. Now his foot came out. Oh. oh. He always has to be injured, don't he? Man, I'm just worried about the infection that's gonna set in. Heal your feet. <laughs> He's just selling anything. Foot healing serum. <laughs> serum that will make you grow an entire new foot. <laughs> Baby. That's the guy who's doing the chickens. Wrong. What the heck? He's in the facilities. Jim's limbs. <laughs> you as veterans. Mm. Give him one of those shots. A stem? A stem shot? Yeah, I need to get used to that. You see what I'm saying though? I don't want him to make him invincible in the show, you know what I'm saying though? Because then how do you Well eventually this medicine will probably run out. Revived. Oh, is he keeping that dog to track down that guy? It seems like it. It seems like that was why they were showing all that blood and stuff. To show that dog was smelling it. Mm-hmm. All that Soviet stuff on that one. So all that just came down? And oh, wow. That was a Soviet... Satellite? Um, satellite, yeah. And I thought I went through it with a broken ankle, man. I did not have to do that. Walking with that boot would pull your hip out of place. This will have to do. Oh, golly. <gasps> Holy moly. I'm not going to make it. I don't know who you are, but you are going to get across that wasteland. No, you see, I've just taken a cyanide pill. Oh, man. It was the most humane product that vault ever made. It was quick, painless, tasted like banana. I was <laughs> surprised it wasn't more popular. What? You can change the future if you can bring me to Moldaver. But how am I gonna bring you if you're, you know, not not my whole body? Ah, uh, that foot, just my head. <gasps> what? The complete opposite of what you were thinking. Whoa, 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 whoa! It'll be easier if you carry my head instead of dragging my whole body. I'm begging you, and this is the only way to get your dad back. I knew I could trust you. What? You are a vault dweller. You need to start acting like a surface dweller. Okay, Miss McLean. How do you know my name? He knows everything. I know. Sir. Bro, you can't die right now. Man, they always die after that. How can she even trust them? What if she brings a head and that's like bad? Or she brings a head and they're like, why'd you bring a head? Because a crazy man told me to? Yeah, right. We gotta lead it right back to that communist satellite. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is a great spot. Evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I happen to take the cyanide pill here. I'm supposed to know where they are because of that donut sign, but I don't. The Simpsons house? <laughs> <gasps> what a day out of the vault for her. <laughs> She got offered a house. She... What is that? It looks like somewhere you light the Olympic torch. Right, but it's huge. You see that tiny palm tree under it? Oh. <laughs> You're so observant. It's probably a clue. All right, guys. So that was Fallout, babe. What did you think about your show that you were so excited to watch? I just thought it was fun because it kind of brought me back into that universe, which to me was just like a lot of hours and a lot of fun. 
just a good time. You can explore a lot of different things that you wouldn't see here. And I just had a lot of fun watching it. It was very interesting, especially visually, man. Like that's one of the biggest things about watching the show to me is I really love the visuals. Yeah. And especially when you can almost in a way capture like a different time or like a different era or maybe just a different reality than what we normally have. So right. very interesting to me. I love that aspect. I love the fact that they trade with caps. That's super cool. You know, it looks a lot like you would imagine society would look in that way. I mean, people just taking every possible thing they can find that's not destroyed and just you know, building things with it, creating like flea markets and stuff. It's kind of just like a lot of the stuff you watch on like YouTube videos right. and stuff with like street food and other places and stuff. So very interesting, man. I love that part of it. Uh, what about the storyline? Are you liking it? I'm liking it. It's the thing about it is, is it like brings just a lot of lore into mm -hmm. it and it makes characters because like I don't remember maybe the games I played. I don't remember any of those three characters. Like I remember there was ghouls and stuff, but not the ghoul. You know what I'm saying? Like, I so don't they were remember. like different maybe i'm wrong but yeah guy. yeah yeah it's like kind of like they chose people from different um because in the game it's actually called factions mm -hmm. so different factions they like are just like you know showing the different like areas in this show yeah it's, it's really nice I, i'm really liking it it seems a lot like the game a lot like the game right there's so many easter eggs which like if you played them you would have saw like you saw the wristbands you saw the pip guy doing the thumbs up everywhere which I didn't know that, like I said, I didn't know the thumbs up meant that, which was really neat. A lot of the weapons were the same, but the thing I didn't know a lot about was the Brotherhood. So it was cool to learn more about about that. The like, Brotherhood of Steel? Yeah. Right. It was cool to see, like, actually someone's, like, perspective on it, too. Right. Absolutely. I thought that was really <laughs> cool. I got to learn more about Maximus, what exactly going yeah. is going on with that, because obviously... You know, I understood their mission. They're getting like pre-war artifacts and stuff right. like that. But the guy, the guy, I'm sorry to interrupt you, no, no, but no, the no. guy when he was dying uh, the night, he said that some of that stuff has been like silly. Like he, they went and got it and it was like a toaster. Right. Yeah. Well, so it's like kind of like, kind of, I guess like undermined or something. Well, when you told me in the beginning of the show that the little boy with his thumb up is basically a propaganda piece, like my mind went to straight. Like when you start hearing about propaganda, then you start thinking about like conspiracy mm -hmm. and then you start thinking about like governments and armies and, you know, behind the shadows and playing chess. So I'm getting all those vibes from that. So I don't really know exactly what's going on with the Menace still, but I don't want you to spoil anything. Like if you know right. anything that I don't know from you playing the game, like I want to figure out everything organically through the show. Right. Just well, so I, I can, can say you know. I can say because you have seen this is certain vaults stood for certain things because you saw him say Hey, your vault was 33. Y'all primary, primarily grew corn. Right. So he like, no, like every yeah, vault a had a every, specific yeah, thing. Yeah. Yes. There's probably like elite vaults where it's like right. luxury. And yeah, yeah. the three we got seen with, I didn't really know about them. So obviously it hasn't been anything I've played, but they like were trading off for the marriage thing. So that was like a new concept to me, but it was very neat. It was cool. Like that's how they kept the population going. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, because incest and all that. That's why it's okay to like practice with your cousin and all that weirdness. So uh, we'll leave all that in the past. We ain't got to right. talk about that too but, much. But but it was just an interesting concept. Like that's though, how they yeah. would keep it like going in their opinion. Right. And the crazy thing is like you just don't know. Do those people? Do the head? Did the dad know about all the people above ground? Because oh, like the ones in charge. Yes, the base? Right, because yeah. because like maybe they tell them like don't go out there because they're just like happy in their little area it's gonna be interesting to see how that all plays out right yeah yeah 100 so the girl's obviously extremely naive to everything and then she I, I was really impressed with the show because a lot of shows will sit there and like the whole idea of going above ground is supposed to be like the big shocking reveal factor yeah. but they did it in the first episode yeah which I thought was awesome. that was so neat they, that was they neat. dove right in uh really like the character the ghoul really like how scary he looks he almost looks like uh the red school yeah on yeah. the avengers movies um, so I really like his character. I love the Western cowboy vibe to it. Right. I think that's really refreshing. And I just right. really like that. That's a lot of fun. Is there anything that I'm missing? Like, is there? No, I don't. I don't I mean, think there's probably a ton we're missing. There's but a, no, there's a ton like there's a ton like, you know, video game stuff that could translate here. But, but I don't know any of that. Right. And I don't right. want to say that because it seems to me like this adaptation is just a refreshing way to like they're it just has using like in that universe and they're yes, just making a whole new they're story. making a story in that universe which right. makes it so neat and i feel like that's why a lot of the fans were like because when 
in video games, we have to give it up to the like director to just be like, here, this is how we're going to play this game in this world. And they did. They're doing a good job of doing so by just like introducing three different people. And they're after the same guy. Well, see, like the first video game that I really got acquainted with in this type of way was the um, The Last of Us. But see, those games followed the story and yeah. the story followed the games, I mm -hmm. should say, very closely. So I wasn't I thought the cut screens in the original games would be like the gold jumping up and shooting the dude's right. leg off. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Which which you would call games like that, just like some first of video thing, game things. When they're following a story and you have no choice, that's called like a linear game. So like it's kind of like you... But there's free roam and stuff in some of them. So it's like kind of iffy, but... This one right here was a lot of free room and you got to make choices in a lot of them. And I even heard in the first and the second one, which I don't know how true it is. You got to make choices over like, do we protect this vault? Do we burn it? It was like stuff like that. Like, right. And a like, lot of that so has changed a lot to the story. Play. Yeah. Yeah. And I can see how that can get really complex because there's a. I mean, yeah, understanding those vaults will be kind of like understanding how to run a country in a sense. Right. Yeah. And I there's just like that. a lot. There's just like a whole world of all this where there's like. There's vault tech that we've seen, but even in like the lore, there's just like other companies that are like vying for it's like it's it's a lot. You'll see. I'm excited hopefully, to see. Hopefully I mean, we'll see. Anytime there's a TV show, there's obviously gonna be drama, twist turns, conspiracy, all that type of stuff. So I'm really excited to see, man. Uh just last thing before we get out of here, babe. Since you played the games and since you had such an expect or not an expectation, since you were so excited to watch the show. How did it do? Like prepared your expectations? I, I just thought it was just, it gave me a feeling of nostalgia. I wasn't like disappointed in any way. I just felt nostalgic because all the best parts of like Fallout to me was kind of just lived in a story, which was like, I was thinking it would be more vault. You know, I thought we would be in the vaults a lot longer. We're and above the vault that, yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And like, um, cause you know, there's a lot of things you discover in different vaults in the game. So it's neat. I'm assuming so much of what goes on upstairs has a lot to do with what's going on in the vaults, vice versa. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, I would assume that there's some type of power at B that sort of has it all wrapped around. Right. Right. I mean, and I hope that sense. the main characters, I hope like they're involved in that like big story. I hope either they figure it out or they're just involved, you know? I don't know. Could be like Game of Thrones where those main characters are dead next episode. We have no idea. Right. <laughs> all right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to watch the full uncut raw reactions to these videos. Uh, we do have a Patreon. Uh, what was I going to say? I lost my thought. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. Blah, 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 It's 1.32 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. We have to be up at 5.45. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back with episode three and four. Peace.